If you know me, you know that I have a real bad addiction to all things miniature. It's been that way my whole life. This is a cool little piece. It's a super tiny compass. And it works. I've been testing it out. And it holds true north. So obviously it's just a real basic, you know, general indicator of what's, you know, the northern sky, western sky, etc. But look how tiny this is. So here's a quarter. I mean, look at that. Super micro. So it's definitely, you know, a spy gear type piece, but this can be concealed on your person. You could even, you know, put this in your prison wallet. <laughs> it's pretty tiny. This is a piece that younger people may not be familiar with, but I've been using these for years. This simply screws into a light bulb socket. And up until, you know, recently, everything was, you know, light bulbs. Well, that's changing and things have gone LED. So these are losing their purpose, basically. You can see here, you just screw this into the light bulb socket and then you have power so you can plug into it. And in the old days, I'm talking 20 years ago, I remember using these I was living on a motorcycle and traveling, and I think it was for my Razor, because I don't think there were cell phones yet. But you could stop at any gas station or pretty much anywhere. They'd have, you know, bulbs. You simply go up to it, unscrew the bulb, screw this guy in, plug in, and you got power. I'm on a cool app that I found called Ground News. It gives you the news in a different way. It shows you how the story is being reported by different media outlets. So you pick your favorite topics. A story comes up that we've got the left side reporting it, the right side reporting it, and the center reporting it. It shows you who those media companies are owned by and which way they lean. It's fascinating to see how different media outlets report it using their bias. And my favorite part of all is this little button called the blind spot. This shows you who's not reporting it at all. I like to see every side of the story and the Ground News app helps me do that. Check out Ground News. There's a link in the description to get you 15% off any of their plans. Back to it. This is chicken bouillon. Okay, it's just one cube. Now, nutritionally, this has almost zero nutritional value. I think it has like 10 calories and one gram of protein. But it's really just a mental booster. You know, it's a morale booster. But it's pretty tiny. You know, if you were able to get some water going in an emergency, hot water, drop this in there. This would definitely lift up your spirits. Of course, the safety pin. You've heard me talk about these. I call it, you know, the octopus theory, right? Many hands. So we've only got these two. Well, this axe has a third hand. There's a billion uses for it. This can, you know, hold a, you got a broken zipper, boom. You need to get into something, you know, it's metal so you can get in there and dig. I've used them a ton of times for people that need to swap out their SIM cards. Well, this little one will fit perfectly into that little mysterious hole and you pop that SIM card out. Just a billion uses, but just that mentality, right? Extra hands for something so tiny. I just attach these inside of a lot of my gear. So if you look inside of my Alice pack, I've got them, you know, strategically placed, hidden. Got them inside my clothes, pierced in. Million uses for that simple little safety pin. This is just Gorilla Tape. And I think I did a video showing, I've done lots of videos actually, because I use Gorilla Tape to get fire started. You know, you put a flame to this, this stuff burns quite a while and it takes to that flame real easily. So just a tiny little roll, I mean, what is this? Probably six inches rolled up, weighs nothing, it's super tiny. I could obviously use it for, you know, a bandage if I needed to. I could use it to repair something if I get a hole, but I'm carrying it mostly just as a fire starter. But you know, look how tiny. Weighs nothing. Good to go. I love these. This is a trick I learned from my uncle, and he was in Vietnam. 
I don't know if that's where it started, but basically it's just super glue and you get a cut. Well, if you can irrigate that cut, get it clean, you know, you use the super glue to suture to close up that, that cut. A lot of times I use it because I'll get a hot spot or a hangnail. It's driving me crazy and I'll just take the super glue and just, you know, tap that down, eliminate that hangnail. And it's also a glue. So if you needed to glue something or repair it, but again, look at that micro mini. This is a cool piece of kit. This is called a Phoenix Junior. It's a little IR light and it simply attaches to a nine volt battery. And then you've got IR. So IR is extremely important for communication. You know, the difference now is that a lot of people can see this because this technology, you know, to be able to see the IR light, everybody's got it now all over the world, but it's great for, you know, training and out at the range, it's just a marker. So that way people know where you're at. This is another IR light. This is called the Spark. And it goes solid and it flashes. This attaches to the top of your helmet onto the Velcro. Just great tools. I mean, this isn't super micro, but hey, it's still pretty mini. They weigh nothing. The nine volt definitely weighs something, but good things to have on you. This is a little USB drive. And this is very important because intelligence is everything, right? So if you're training on intelligence gathering, your systems are going to need to be able to help you gather information. So a small little drive like this is good.